Don't conform. Never for the rest of your life will you conform. If you're going to be different in your family than every wealthy person's family, there's eventually a point in time where there was no wealthy person in that family. Who in here doesn't have wealthy people in their family? Raise your hand. Good. You see all those hands? Every one of you? I want you to listen to me right now. It's going to be you. You're going to make a decision right now to get pissed off. And you're going to have controlled anger. Before there's ever any wealthy person, it takes one person to make it happen. Okay? And in my family, there was never a wealthy person. 20 generations went by and nobody became wealthy. And I broke the bloodline. I broke the bloodline for my future family. I broke it. Don't even fucking bring negative shit around me, okay? You want a badass life? Yes or no? You guys want a badass life? Then we gotta have fucking hardcore rules. No weakness. I don't give a shit what goes on in this world. This is my economy. This is my reality. What I say is going to happen is what's going to happen. Period. End of story. It doesn't matter. I will, I will refuse to sell my dreams out to anybody else's fucking philosophy. How many of you should be dead right now? You can think about one time in which you shouldn't be alive. Like, dude, I can't believe I dodged that bullet. I can't believe that car didn't hit me. I can't believe I didn't overdose on that. I can't believe that that didn't happen because if it did, one inch to the left, one inch to the right, I'd be dead right now. Guys, why has God got you here? Because he is going to use you as a weapon. Everybody write this down. Turn your wounds into your weapons. You know, dude, so many of you could be great, but you can't change. You know why? Because instead of changing to be great, you're just conforming. Am I right? When you don't settle, will there be conflict? Yes or no? You bet your ass there will be. Okay? When you decide to leave everybody in your life that doesn't believe in you, there'll be conflict. Do you guys want to be great and go to another level? Okay, right now, I want you to write this down. Audit everyone in your life. Audit everything in your life. Today, you're going to make some decisions. Who and what are we going to get rid of? Who and what are we going to... We're going to, we're going to, we're going to audit our life. What I've learned is that most of you in here, you're not being influenced by someone on the outside who's f***ing your life up. It's you self-sabotaging your f***ing life. Whose fault is it? Yours. You screwed up your own life. Everybody write this down. Law number two, don't self-sabotage your own life. Self-sabotage is what I see happening in the world right now. Now listen to me. When I tell you this today and you write it on that piece of paper, dude, you have to own this. You have to make this a part of your life. You don't have as much time as you think you have. So if you really want to do something great, wake the f*** up. Most people are underestimating, underestimating the amount of effort that it's going to take to get the life they want. Our world is in a mental depression state right now because everybody's wrapped up into fucking society. Everybody's wrapped up in conforming. Everybody's wrapped up in it. And you guys need to pull them into your environment. We're going to need to audit all your friends. We're going to need to audit the people you hang out with, places you go. I used to be a pushover. Okay, my dad's a pushover. I was a pushover when I was younger, and I learned, dude, that I used to keep my mouth shut, and I'd get walked all over. You've probably been through a stage like that in your life. It wasn't a good stage for me. Um, I didn't like it, and so one day I just said, you know what, screw this. I'm gonna believe what I'm gonna believe. I'm gonna call my own shots. I'm gonna stop being a crowd pleaser, and I'm gonna do things my way. And when I do that, everybody that walked all over me is gonna hate it. But I'm finally gonna become who I wanna become. Your family wants you to keep you safe. Your friends want you to stay safe. Nobody wants you to change. They've all put boundaries on you. This is not about them. Okay? Matter of fact, this problem is bigger than them. This is your problem. This is something that's inside of you that is stopping you. What if you died today and went to heaven and God told you, dude, you should have killed it. I set it all up for you. And you're like, yeah, it was my mom, my grandpa, my neighbor. You know, nobody at work supported me. My, ma my manager, he didn't ever, he say, dude, it was none of those people. You want me to show you the person that, that, that stopped you? You want me to introduce you to them? And you're like, yeah, show me. And then he walks you over in the mirror, turns the light on and goes, look in there, that's you.
You did all of this. You're the one that stopped you from everything. You're the problem.